Hi everybody. In this example video, we are going to be solving for the Lewis structure of CH4, which is methane. To easily remember the steps for finding a Lewis structure, I have them in the top right hand corner of our screen now. So let's get right into the problem. First we need to find the total number of valence electrons that are present in our compound. So remember our trick to easily remember how many valence electrons an atom in groups 1a to 7a has, we look at the group number the column that our atom resides in, and that will tell us the number of valence electrons that atom will have in its neutral state. Therefore, carbon being in group 4a will have 4 valence electrons, and hydrogen being in group 1a will have a single valence electron. Therefore, our total combined valence electrons in our compound is 8. Next we need to find what is going to be our central atom. I have listed the electronegativities of both hydrogen and carbon here. Remember that we said we typically use our least electronegative atom as our central atom. However, as is common in chemistry, there are exceptions to our rules. Hydrogen is one of those exceptions and will never act as a central atom, as it can only make a single bond. Whereas you can see here, our carbon atom can make four bonds, and is therefore preferable as our central atom. Now that we know our central atom, we need to create a skeletal structure of our compound. So. Let's place our carbon atom in the center and our four hydrogen atoms all around our carbon and add in our valence electrons for each atom. Now let's place in our relevant covalent bonds to connect all of our atoms. All right, and as we no longer have any unpaired electrons left, we can move on. To validate our Lewis structure of methane is valid, let's check if our total number of valence electrons matches step one and that all atoms that need to are satisfied in terms of the octet rule. So. Counting our valence electrons, we have 8 valence electrons in our hydrogen carbon covalent bonds. Therefore, we still have 8 valence electrons, so check mark there. Next, carbon is the only one of these atoms that acts according to the octet rule, as hydrogen, being the smallest atom, is happy and satisfied with just 2 electrons. So, hydrogen has these 2 and is happy. Carbon has 8 in the form of covalent bonds with our 4 hydrogen atoms. Therefore, carbon satisfies the octet rule. So there we go, we've just validated that all atoms in our compound are happy with the number of valence electrons that they have. One thing to mention here is that methane takes on the shape of what we call a tetrahedral, and it looks something like this. If you have enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.